Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to talk about a common problem that uh, we may see when we use uh, the free screen recorder OBS. This is uh, one of the most popular uh, free software to, to capture your screen uh, when you're trying to make a tutorial or something. Uh, and uh, the common problem is that when you open uh, the software and try to uh, capture the display, uh, it doesn't do anything instead it shows a blank or a black screen um, I'll show you what I mean so I have uh, installed freshly installed installed the OBS software and um, you can see that uh, this is the window you have to add the source and this will add the source here so if you click on the plus sign here to add a source and you can choose the display capture so let's click that and it will create a new display capture it is naming by default uh, display capture but you can name it anything you want make sure that this uh, box is checked which says make sure uh, make a source uh, visible and uh, it's uh, by default uh, checked and uh, click OK now ideally this screen should now show up inside this window but it's not doing it and it's also uh, supposed to show the cursor but it's not doing anything if I click OK it doesn't do anything it's just blank so if I record anything it's not gonna capture anything uh, the problem is uh, in the setting of the video card if your computer is using the default uh, Intel uh, graphics then you may not have the problem but if your PC is using uh, some additional graphics either uh, built into the motherboard or as a, a discrete graphics card like AMD Radeon or Nvidia graphics then uh, it may cause the problem the fix is to change the settings in that uh, graphics card and we will see how uh, we can solve that problem to uh, fix the problem different laptops have different uh, graphics card and setting so uh, it may not apply exactly to each laptops um, I have uh, searched through the internet and there are some very good uh, solutions to some of the problems but one of them worked for me and the other one didn't so I have two uh, Dell laptop one has a high-end uh, Nvidia graphics and uh, one solution worked for me for that one but uh, I have another Dell Inspiron which has uh, a AMD Radeon graphics along with the Intel HD graphics and any of the solutions that uh, I uh, saw in the internet did not really work well so I'm actually showing that one first so you can see here that uh, if I add the display capture it's back on now but it wasn't working before I applied the solution so what I did was uh, went to the device manager to see what graphics card I had so when I go to the device manager and it will give you a list uh, of the graphics cards that's uh, in your system so if you go here in the display adapter you can see that I have two adapters AMD Radeon uh, R5 M335 and then again Intel uh, HD graphics 520 so what I did was I right clicked on the AMD Radeon like this and then I disabled the device and it will uh, give you a warning uh, uh, and you just click click yes uh, you can always uh, enable it later on so now you can see uh, that the AMD is disabled and the Intel HD graphics 520 is the only uh, working graphics nothing changes on the display 
I guess one uh, takes over the other. So I closed this and then uh, when I opened the OBS software and then added the display capture, create new and then leave everything as it is and then click OK, it just works. It captures your screen. Then uh, um, I thought that every time I uh, have to uh, use the OBS software, I have to disable the graphics uh, and then once I am done and so I will have to uh, enable the graphics, the, the AMD one. So what I did was uh, I closed the application, I went back to the device manager and then I enabled the AMD Radeon. So now it went back to what it was, so both of them are enabled. And I thought that now if I um, open the OBS software, uh, then I will not be able to capture the display anymore and it will still show the black blank screen. So now you can see that both of them are enabled. So let me go back to the OBS software. And now I'm going to add a display capture. It just works. So once I disable and run the OBS and then exit the OBS and then again enable the Radeon graphics, it just works. Now it doesn't really matter whether the uh, Radeon graphics is enabled or disabled, it just works. So this may work for you, uh, I hope. Um, and uh, all you care is uh, whether or not the software works. And uh, that's, that's uh, I accidentally found this uh, solution. Uh, some people said that um, if you have a, a dual graphics like this, a AMD and the Intel HD, if you right click on anywhere on the, on the screen and it will give you a dual graphics setting and when you go to the dual graphics setting, you, you can disable or uh, choose only the Intel graphics. I don't have that option so it does not give me any option to switch uh, to a uh, uh, switchable graphics and uh, change one to the other so give it a try um, if you have the AMD Radeon graphics uh, disable it under the device manager and then run the OBS software and hopefully this will work uh, this is uh, working for me in the Dell uh, Inspiron 15 5000 series uh, laptop. So this is the solution for this model and probably uh, similar uh, laptops with similar graphics card situation. Uh, this will also work. Okay, for those um, who have a little bit of high-end laptop, uh, you may have a discrete graphics card. Uh, like NVIDIA uh, you may have to do uh, solve the problem in a slightly different way which which is probably uh, a little bit easier so um, what you will have to do is uh, go down here and uh, click on it and find that the NVIDIA graphics settings right click on it and open the NVIDIA control panel and It'll show up this screen and uh, you will have global settings and program settings so you will click on the program settings and this is under the 3d settings by the way so if your uh, screen opens with a different uh, sets of options click to manage 3d settings and then you will find this window and then you will go to the program settings and uh, I have already added this OBS here um, if your uh, laptop is not working uh, with the OBS uh, you're not supposed to have this so you probably don't have this here so uh, it has every other uh, software but 
you will have to manually add the OBS uh, options. How do you add that? Uh, you click on this add and you will see that it does not have this OBS. I have it because I added it. Um, you will have to actually browse, click on browse. And then you will have to, um, on this bar, uh, you will have to copy and paste the address for the OBS. It's already here with for me because I just added. So the way you get the address is go to this uh, start menu and then you go to OBS. So it will be under O. So click here on this arrow and then you go here and right click on OBS Studio and then go to more options and then go to open file location and then when it opens here you right click again on this one and then go to properties and this will open the properties so from here you will uh, copy this uh, without that inverted comma code on both sides you will copy this C starting with the C and ending with uh, slash 64, 64 bit and uh, you will right click on it and copy and then so you can paste it here and then if you hit enter it will open this and then you click this one and when you open it will uh, it will add this here the next thing you will have to do is on option number two um, select and the preferred graphic processor for this program here you probably have select uh, has uh, use global setting you will need to change it to integrated graphics so uh, before I set it up, it was uh, under use global settings, auto select NVIDIA GPU, but you have to change it to integrated graphics. And after that, you click apply. And then you can close this. Now, when you go uh, open the OBS Studio, So now we are going to add the display capture. So click on the plus sign, click on display capture, and create new display capture, and then just leave it alone. Click OK, and see, it's capturing the display, it's no longer black. And you can click OK, and um, this is going to be your uh, base resolution, um, depending on how uh, your resolution is set up on your desktop and you can click OK and now you can uh, capture anything you want by uh, clicking on the start recording button alright so that was a uh, quick review of how to uh, get rid of this black screen on the OBS studio screen recorder and get the display capture working for uh, two types of problems one is with the nvidia graphics the other one is with the amg radeon graphics uh, two works uh, with the two different kinds of solution but i hope uh, uh, this will uh, help you guys who are having problems if you know any of the different solutions uh, for this problem this kind of problem uh, you can uh, post it uh, below as a comment and this will also help uh, the other viewers if you also know a um, better solution or a quicker solution uh, please go ahead and mention that those in the comments below also for uh, the, the viewers and it will also help me to learn thank you